All right, we're back. I knew I was about to run out of time, um, but I wanted to see what I could get done before it stopped on me. Um, so we were working on problem number nine. I'll try to go a little bit faster. Um, it's hard. It's a, it's a balance because you want to make sure that everyone understands it, but you also want to kind of boogie through them as fast as you can too. When you're watching these, make sure that you stop, start, stop, start, um, and replay so that you, so that you get this. Okay. I don't want you to miss out on what we're talking about. And um, I really need you to become uh, masters at this. So it's important that you make sure that you know what you're doing. Um, and I'm try I know I'm boogieing through these, but, um, you know, you can slow them down and you can be in control of, of repeating this and slowing it down or whatever. Um, okay, so let's finish this out. I'm into moles um, per gram. We got that. And now I need to get into number of particles. Well, I know that I'm going to have to put one mole of NH4 SO2 on the bottom and 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd um, units, okay, or particles. You can use units, particles, atoms, molecules. All of those things work the same, okay? Um, NH4 SO2. All right, so moles are gonna cancel, clearly. And when it's all said and done, I wanna end up with my answer and my answer for this one, for number nine, should be uh, 1.7 times 10 to the 22nd, 22nd units of NH4SO2. Okay, so that would be the answer to number nine. All right, let's move on. We're gonna do number 11 now. How many molecules are there in 200 grams of CCL4? So I'm gonna start out with what I have. I'm starting with this. And it says how many molecules. Well, that's gonna be question mark molecules. So here we go. We have 200 grams of CCL4. And I wanna to have to use molar mass in order to get from grams into moles. So let's see, that's gonna be one carbon there's gonna be some chlorine. One carbon is 12 grams, and then four chlorines are 35 each. Um, so that's going to be, let's see, hold on. 35 times four equals, um, plus 12 equals 152. 152 grams per mole. Let me make sure that that's right, 35 times four plus 12 equals 152. Yes, that's, that is correct. Um, so I'm going to put that in here. 152 grams of CCl4 is the same as one mole of CCl4. Grams are going to cancel. And that leaves me with moles of CCl4. Well, I don't want moles. I want molecules. So let's go one more step. One mole of CCl4 is the same as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd uh, molecules. Okay, so now mo moles cancel and I'm left with molecules. Once we have this, we can get the answer. So let me get rid of molar mass here so I can write my answer out. And my answer to number 11 is gonna be 7.82 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of CCl4. All right, moving along. We have, um, I think I have two more to do. I need to do 13 and I need to do 15 and then you have the rest that you'll be doing. Um, so number 13, it says how many grams are there? So let's see, I'm gonna be doing question mark grams. Whoops, I kinda wrote right through it. Are there in 4.5 times 20, 10 to the 22nd formula units of barium nitrite. Okay, well, let's start with what we have. 4.5 times 10 to the 22nd units of BANO22. All right and I need to get out of units and into grams. Well, I'm gonna to have to get into moles, first of all, and I know that 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd units is the same as one mole of BA 
NO2, 2. Okay, units just canceled. They're gone, and I'm left with moles. Once I'm into moles, I can use molar mass to get into grams. Well, let's see. Molar mass is going to be BA. There's going to be Ns, and there's going to be Os. Um, let's see, one barium. Let me find out what that is really fast because I do not have barium memorized. I should, shouldn't I? But I do not. Barium is 137. So every barium is 137 grams. Every nitrogen is 14. And how many nitrogens do I have? I have two of them. And then oxygens are 16. And I have two times two. I have four of those. So let's add all this up again. And when I do, I end up with 137 um, plus 28 plus 4 times 16. That gives me 229. Okay? So I'm going to put that in here. If I have one mole of barium nitrite, BANO2, that's going to be 229 grams of BA. NO2, 2. So, let me erase my molar mass calculation here. There we go. It's all gone. And let's be left with our answer. And our answer to this problem, let me do some math. Figure this out. That's going to be, uh, let's see, keep working here. It is going to be 17.1 grams of BA. NO2, 2. Okay, there's your answer to number 13. Okay, I have one more problem to do. We're cruising along here as fast as we can. And then you guys are going to be responsible for all the even problems. All right, so on number 15, it says how many grams to um, 4.3 times 10 to the 21st molecules of UF6 weigh? Okay, so this is what we have. And this is what we're trying to find. We're trying to go from molecules to grams. So let's do it. Hopefully you guys are catching on to the pattern here. 4.3 times 10 to the 21st um, molecules of UF6. Let's convert it. We can't just go straight from molecules to grams. We have to convert it into moles first. Well, let's see. I know that 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules is the same as one mole. So now molecules are canceled, and I'm left with moles. Now let's do molar mass. Well, the molar mass of U is going to be 238, I believe. Let's double check. Does she have that memorized? Well, maybe... But now I'm double checking myself to make sure I did. I got it right. So uranium has a mass of 238. And then um, fluorine, of course, has a mass of 19. But how many are there? There are six. Okay, so let's do the math on this to figure out its molar mass. We're going to take 19 times 6 plus 238, and we get 352. This is one heavy molecule, isn't it? So let's put that in there. One mole of UF6 has a mass of 352 grams of UF6. Moles are going to cancel, and we're left with grams, which is exactly what we want. Let me get rid of my molar mass calculation here so we have room for our answer. And then the answer to this problem, let's get that up here real fast. Moving along, doing some math, is 2.5 grams. 2.5 grams of UF6. And that is my answer. Hopefully this helped.